a diacritic slash da. KRTK slash also diacritical mark, diacritical point, or diacritical sign is a glyph added to a letter, or basic glyph. The term derives from the Greek, diacriticos, distinguishing from ancient Greek, dia, through, and crinane, to separate. Diacritic is primarily an adjective, though sometimes used as a noun, whereas diacritical is only ever an adjective. Some diacritical marks, such as the acute and grave, backquote, are often called accents. Diacritical marks may appear above or below a letter, or in some other position such as within the letter, or between two letters. The main use of diacritical marks in the Latin script is to change the sound values of the letters to which they are added. Examples from English are the diaresis in Naive and Noel, which show that the vowel with the diaresis mark is pronounced separately from the preceding vowel, the acute and grave accents, which can indicate that a final vowel is to be pronounced, as in sake, and poetic breathed, and the cedula, under the C, in the borrowed French word facade, which shows it is pronounced slash s slash rather than slash k slash. In other Latin alphabets, they may distinguish between homonyms, such as the French la, their versus la, the which are both pronounced la. In Gaelic type, a dot over a consonant indicates lenition of the consonant in question. In other alphabetic systems, diacritical marks may perform other functions. Vowel pointing systems, namely the Arabic harakat, etc., and the Hebrew nikkum, etc., systems, indicate sounds, vowels and tones that are not conveyed by the basic alphabet. The Indic virema, etc., and the Arabic sukin, mark the absence of a vowel. Cantillation marks indicate prosody. Other uses include the early Cyrillic titlo and the Hebrew jershaim, which, respectively, mark abbreviations or acronyms, and Greek diacritical marks, which show that letters of the alphabet were being used as numerals. In the Hanaupini, an official romanization system for Chinese, diacritics are used to mark the tones of the syllables in which the marked vowels occur. In orthography and collation, a letter modified by a diacritic may be treated either as a new, distinct letter, or, as a letter diacritic combination. This varies from language to language, and may vary from case to case within a language. In some cases, letters are used as inline diacritics in place of ancillary glyphs, because they modify the sound of the letter preceding them, as in the case of the H in English SH, and TH. The tilde, dot, comma, Tightlow, apostrophe, bar, and colon are sometimes diacritical marks, but also have other uses. Not all diacritics occur adjacent to the letter they modify. In the Wali language of Ghana, for example, an apostrophe indicates a change of vowel quality, but occurs at the beginning of the word, as in the dialects Bulangi and Olemi. Because of vowel harmony, all vowels in a word are affected, so the scope of the diacritic is the entire word. In a boogie the scripts, like those used to write Hindi and Thai, diacritics indicate vowels and may occur above, below, before, after, or around the consonant letter they modify. The title, dot, on the letter I of the Latin alphabet originated as a diacritic to clearly distinguish I from the minims, downstrokes, of adjacent letters. It first appeared in the 11th century in the sequence I, as in ingenii, then spread to I adjacent to M, N, U, and finally to all lowercase i's. The J, originally a variant of I, inherited the title. The shape of the diacritic developed from initially resembling today's acute accent to a long flourish by the 15th century. With the advent of Roman type it was reduced to the round dot we have today. Diacritic specific to non-Latin alphabets Arabic Further information, Arabic diacritics And standalone, Hams out indicates a glottal stop. T-A-N-W-N, symbols, serve a grammatical role in Arabic. The sign is most commonly written in combination with A-L-I-F, e.g. Shada, gemination, doubling Of consonants W-A-L-A comes most commonly at the beginning of a word. Indicates a type of Hamza that is pronounced only when the letter is read at the beginning of the talk. Mata, a written replacement for a Hamza that is followed by an A-L-I-F, i.e. Read as a glottal stop followed by a long slash a slash, e.g.
are written out respectively as. This writing rule does not apply when the alif that follows a hamza is not a part of the stem of the word, e.g. is not written out as as the stem does not have an alif that follows its hamza. Superscript alif, also short or dagger alif a replacement for an original alif that is dropped in the writing out of some rare words, e.g. is not written out with the original alif found in the word pronunciation, instead it is written out as erkti, in Arabic, also called tashkel, fada, a, kasra, i, a m m a u, sukan, no vowel. The erkti or vowel points serve two purposes. They serve as a phonetic guide. They indicate the presence of short vowels, fada, kasra, or amma, or their absence, sukan. At the last letter of a word, the vowel point reflects the inflection case or conjugation mood. For nouns, the amma is for the nominative, fada for the accusative, and kasra for the genitive. For verbs, the amma is for the imperfective, fada for the perfective, and the sukan is for verbs in the imperative or jussive moods. Vowel points or tashkel should not be confused with consonant points or i jam, one, two, or three dots written above or below a consonant to distinguish between letters of the same or similar form. Chinese. Further information, Mandarin Pinyin, usage, and diacritic, transliteration. Greek. Further information, Greek diacritics. These diacritics are used in addition to the acute, grave, and circumflex accents, and the diaresis. Iota subscript. Rough breathing, spiritus asper, aspiration. Smooth, or soft, breathing, spiritus lenus, lack of aspiration. Hebrew. Further information, Hebrew diacritics. Genesis 1 9 And God said, Let the waters be collected. Letters in black. Nicked in red, cantillation in blue. Nicked. Dejesh. Map it. Roth. Shin dot at top right corner. Sin dot at top left corner. Shva. Cubits. Holem. Kamos. Pata. Segal. Syra. Eric. Cantillation marks do not generally render correctly, refer to cantillation pound sign names, and shapes of the Tamim for a complete table together with instructions, for how to maximize the possibility of viewing them in a web browser. Other. Jirish. Jershayim. Korean. Hunman Yeongoim, the Korean alphabet. These diacritics, known as bangjum, were used to mark pitch accents in Hangul for Middle Korean. It is written to the left of a character in vertical writing, and above a character in horizontal writing. The Korean government officially revised the romanization of the Korean language in July 2000 to eliminate diacritics. Sanskrit and Indic. Further information, Brahmic scripts. Non-alphabetic scripts. Some non-alphabetic scripts also employ symbols that function essentially as diacritics. Non-pure abjads, such as Hebrew and Arabic script, and abugidus use diacritics for denoting vowels. Hebrew and Arabic also indicate consonant doubling and change with diacritics. Hebrew and Devanagari use them for foreign sounds. Devanagari and related abugidus also use a diacritical mark called a virama to mark the absence of a vowel. In addition, Devanagari uses the moon dot chandrabindu. The Japanese hiragana and katakana syllabaries use the dokutan and handakutan in Japanese, and symbols, also known as nagori, or tenten, and maru, to indicate voice consonants, or other phonetic changes. Emoticons are commonly created with diacritic symbols, especially Japanese emoticons, on popular image boards. Alphabetization or collation Collation. Different languages use different rules to put diacritic characters in alphabetical order. French treats letters with diacritical marks the same as the underlying letter for purposes of ordering and dictionaries. The Scandinavian languages, by contrast, 
Treat the characters with diacritics uh, O, and or as new and separate letters of the alphabet, and sort them after Z. Usually A is sorted as equal to A, Ash, and O is sorted as equal to O slash. Also, A, A, when used as an alternative spelling to A, is sorted as such. Other letters modified by diacritics are treated as variants of the underlying letter, with the exception that U is frequently sorted as Y. Languages that treat accented letters as variants of the underlying letter usually alphabetize words with such symbols immediately after similar unmarked words. For instance, in German where two words differ only by an umlaut, the word without it is sorted first in German dictionaries, e.g. shown, and then shown, or fallen, and then fallen. However, when names are concerned, e.g. in phone books, or in author catalogs and libraries, umlauts are often treated as combinations of the vowel with a suffix d. Austrian phone books now treat characters with umlauts, as separate letters, immediately following the underlying vowel. In Spanish, the grapheme n is considered a new letter different from n, and collated between an and o, as it denotes a different sound from that of a plain n. But the accented vowels a, e, i, o, you are not separated from the unaccented vowels a, e, i, o, you, as the acute accent in Spanish only modifies stress within the word, or denotes a distinction between homonyms, and does not modify the sound of a letter. For a comprehensive list of the collating orders in various languages, see collating sequence. Generation with computers. Modern computer technology was developed mostly in English-speaking countries, so data formats, Kibo or layouts, etc. were developed with a bias favoring English, a language with an alphabet, without diacritical marks. This has led to fears internationally that the marks and accents may be made obsolete to facilitate the worldwide exchange of data. Efforts have been made to create internationalized domain names that further extend the English alphabet e.g., Poemon.com. Depending on the Kibo or layout, which differs amongst countries, it is more or less easy to enter letters with diacritics on computers and typewriters. Some have their own keys, some are created by first pressing the key with the diacritic mark followed by the letter to place it on. Such a key is sometimes referred to as a dead key, as it produces no output of its own, but modifies the output of the key pressed after it. In modern Microsoft Windows and Linux operating systems, the Kibo layouts US International and UK International feature dead keys that allow one to type Latin letters with the acute, grave, circumflex, diuresis, tilde, and cedilla found in Western European languages, specifically, those combinations found in the ISO-Latin one character set, directly, plus E gives E, tilde, plus O gives O, etc. On Apple Macintosh computers, there are keyboard shortcuts for the most common diacritics. Option E followed by a vowel places an acute accent. Option U followed by a vowel gives an umlaut. Option C gives a cedula, etc. Diacritics can be composed in most text window system keyboard layouts, as well as other operating systems, such as Microsoft Windows, using additional software. On computers, the availability of code pages determines whether one can use certain diacritics. Unicode solves this problem by assigning every known character its own code. If this code is known, most modern computer systems provide a method to input it. With Unicode, it is also possible to combine diacritical marks with most characters. Languages with letters containing diacritics the following languages have letters that contain diacritics, that are considered independent letters distinct from those without diacritics. Germanic. Faroese uses acutes and other special letters. All are considered separate letters and have their own place in the alphabet. A, I, O, U, Y, and. Icelandic uses acutes and other special letters. All are considered separate letters and have their own place in the alphabet. A, E. I, O, U, Y, and O. Danish and Norwegian uses additional characters, like the O slash and the O ring A. These letters come after Z, 
and in the order, a historic Livia has developed from a ligature by writing a small superscript over a lowercase a. If an a character is unavailable, some Scandinavian languages allow the substitution of a double day. The Scandinavian languages collate these letters after z, but have different collation standards. Swedish uses a diaresis, a, and o diaresis, o, in the place of ash, a, and slash to, in addition to the a overing. A, historically the diaresis for the Swedish letters a and o, like the German laut, developed from a small gothic here and above the letters. These letters are collated after z, in the order a, a, o. Celtic. Welsh uses the circumflex, diaresis, acute, and grave, on its seven vowels a, e, i, o, u, w, y. Following spelling reform since the 1970s, Scottish Gaelic uses graves only, which can be used on any vowel, a, e, i, o, u. Formerly acute accents could be used on a, o, and e, which were used to indicate a specific vowel quality. With the elimination of these accents, the new orthography relies on the reader having prior knowledge of pronunciation of a given word. Manx uses the single diacritic set combined with H to give the digraph CH, pronounce slash T slash, to mark the distinction between it and the digraph CH, pronounce slash H slash, or slash X slash. Other diacritics used in Manx included a, e, i, etc., to mark the distinction between two similarly spelled words, but with slightly differing pronunciation. Some orthographies of Cornish such as Cornoweck Standard and Unified Cornish use diacritics, while others such as Cornoweck Kemen and the Standard written form do not. Romance in Asturian, Galician, and Spanish, the character N is a letter, and collated between an and o. Asturian uses, lowercase, and, lowercase. Leonese, could use in or an n. Romanian uses a brief on the letter a, to indicate the sound squa slash slash, as well, as a circumflex over the letters a, a, and i, i, for the sound slash slash. Romanian also writes a comma below the letters s, and t, to represent the sound slash slash, and slash t s slash, respectively. These characters are collated after their non-diacritic equivalent. Slavic Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian Latin alphabet have the symbols and, which are considered separate letters, and are listed, as such in dictionaries, and other contexts in which words are listed according to alphabetical order. They also have one digraph including a diacritic, D, which is also alphabetized independently, and follows D and proceeds in the alphabetical order. The Serbian Cyrillic alphabet has no diacritics, instead it has a grapheme, glyph, for every letter of its Latin counterpart, including Latin letters with diacritics, and the digraphs D, L, J, and New Jersey. The Czech alphabet contains 27 graphemes, letters, when written without diacritics, and 42 graphemes, when written including them. Czech uses the acute R I O U I Barone, and for one letter, the ring. Polish has the following letters, O. These are considered to be separate letters, each of them is placed in alphabet right after its Latin counterpart, i.e. between A and B, and are placed after Z in this order. The Slovak alphabet uses the acute R I O U I Barone, Umlaut, A, and circumflex accent, O. The basic Slovene alphabet has the symbols and, which are considered separate letters, and are listed, as such in dictionaries, and other contexts in which words are listed according to alphabetical order. Letters with a corona are placed right after the letters, as written without the diacritic. The letter may be used in non-transliterated foreign words, particularly names, and is placed after and before D. Baltic. Latvian has the following letters. Lithuanian. In general usage, where letters appear with the corona, and they are considered as separate letters from C, S, or Z, and collated separately, letters with the agonek, and the macron, and the superdot, are considered as separate letters as well, but not given a unique collation order. Finno Ugric. Estonian has a distinct letter O, which contains a tilde. Estonian dotted vowels a, O. You are similar to German, but these are also distinct letters, not like German lauded letters. 
all four have their own place in the alphabet, between W and X corones, N, or appear only in foreign proper names and loan words. Also these are distinct letters, placed in the alphabet between S and T. Finnish uses dotted vowels, A, and O, as in Swedish and Estonian, these are regarded as individual letters rather than vowel plus some loud combinations, as happens in German. It also uses the characters a and in foreign names and loan words. In the Finnish and Swedish alphabets, a, a and o collate has separate letters after z, the others as variants of their base letter. Hungarian uses the umlaut, the acute and double acute accent, unique to Hungarian, ou, or iou, and the acute accent indicates the long form of the vowel in case of i slash i, o slash o, u slash u, while the double acute performs the same function for o and u. The acute accent can also indicate a different sound, more open, like in case of a slash a, e slash e. Both long and short forms of the vowels are listed separately in the Hungarian alphabet, but members of the pairs a slash a, e slash e, i slash i, o slash o, o slash u slash u, and u slash are collated in dictionaries as the same letter. Livonian has the following letters, a, o. Turkic. Azerbaijani includes the distinct Turkish alphabet letter c, i, o, and u. Crimean Tatar includes the distinct Turkish alphabet letter c, i, o, and u. Unlike standard Turkish, but like Cypriot Turkish, Crimean Tatar also has the letter n. Gagos includes the distinct Turkish alphabet letter C, I, O, and U. Unlike Turkish, Gagos also has the letters A, E, and and are derived from the Romanian alphabet for the same sounds. Sometime the Turkish may be used instead of. Turkish uses a G with a brief, two letters, with an umlaut, O, and U, representing two rounded front vowels, two letters with a cedula. C, and, representing the affricate slash t slash, and the fricative slash slash, and also possesses a dotted capital, and a dotless lowercase representing a high unrounded back vowel. In Turkish each of these are separate letters, rather than versions of other letters, where dotted capital, and lowercase i are the same letter, as are dotless capital i, and lowercase. Typographically, C and are often rendered with a sub-dot, as in, when a hook is used, it tends to have more a comma shape, than their usual sidla. The new Azerbaijani, Crimean Tatar, and Gagos alphabets are based on the Turkish alphabet, and its same diacriticized letters, with some additions. Turkmen includes the distinct Turkish alphabet letter C, O, and U in addition. Turkmen uses a with diaresis, a, to represent slash a slash, and with corone, to represent the velar nasal slash slash, y with acute, y, to represent the palatal approximant slash j slash, and z with corone, to represent slash slash. Other. Albanian has two special letter c, and upper and lower case. They are placed next to the most similar letters in the alphabet, c, and e correspondingly. Esperanto has the symbols, and, which are included in the alphabet, and considered separate letters. Hawaiian uses the kahako, makron, over vowels, although there is some disagreement over considering them as individual letters. The kahako over a vowel can completely change the meaning of a word, that is spelled the same but without the kahako. Kurdish uses the symbol C, E, I, and U, with other 26 standard Latin alphabet symbols. Maltese uses a C, G, and Z, with a dot over them, and also has an H, with an extra horizontal bar. For uppercase H, the extra bar is written slightly above the usual bar. For lowercase H, the extra bar is written crossing the vertical, like a T, and not touching the lower part. The above characters are considered separate letters. The letter, C, without a dot has fallen out of use due to redundancy is pronounced, like the English ch and k is used, as a hard c, as in cat. Is pronounced just like the English z, as in zebra, while z is used to make the sound of ts in English, like tsunami or maths. Is used, as a hard g like in geometry, while the g sounds like a soft g, like in log. The digraph, g, called gajn, 
after the Arabic letter name AYN for is considered separate and sometimes ordered after G, whilst in other volumes it is placed between N and O. The Latin letter O originally evolved from the shape of Phoenician iron, which was traditionally collated after Phoenician iron. Vietnamese uses the horn diacritic for the letters and the circumflex for the letters A, E, and O, the brief for the letter and a bar through the letter. Lakota alphabet uses the coron for the letters and it also uses the acute accent for stress vowels a, e, i, o, u, a, i, u. Cyrillic alphabets. Belarusian has a letter. Belarusian, Bulgarian, Russian, and Ukrainian have the letter. Belarusian and Russian have the letter. In Russian, this letter is usually replaced by, although it has a different pronunciation. The use of instead of does not affect the pronunciation. Is always used in children's books and in dictionaries. A minimal pair is versus everybody pl and versus so everything in sg. In Belarusian, the replacement by is a mistake. In Russian, it is possible to use either and in place of, but the former is more common. The Cyrillic Ukrainian alphabet has the letters and Ukrainian Latinka has many more. Macedonian has the letters and in Bulgarian the possessive pronoun I, her is spelled with a grave accent in order to distinguish it from the conjunction I, and the acute accent above any vowel in Cyrillic alphabet is used in dictionaries, books for children, and foreign learners. To indicate the word stress, it also can be used for disambiguation of similarly spelled words with different lexical stresses. Diacritics that do not produce new letters. Blackboard used in class at Harvard shows students' efforts at placing their U and acute accent diacritic used in Spanish orthography. English. English terms with diacritical marks. English is one of the few European languages that does not have many words that contain diacritical marks. Exceptions are unassimilated foreign loan words, including borrowings from French and, increasingly, Spanish. However, the diacritic is also sometimes omitted from such words. Loan words that frequently appear with the diacritic in English include café, resume, or resume, a usage that helps distinguish it from the verb résumé, souffle, and naïveté, see English terms with diacritical marks. In older practice, and even among some orthographically conservative modern writers, one may see examples such as elite and role. English speakers and writers once used the diaresis more often than now in words such as cooperation, from fr cooperation, zoology, from grk zoologia, and seer, now more commonly see a, or simply seer. But this practice has become far less common. The New Yorker magazine is one of the few major publications that still use it. A few English words can only be distinguished from others by a diacritic or modified letter, including an I'm, expose, lame, mate, or re, pate, peak, rose, and souffle. The same is true of resume, alternately resume, but nevertheless it is sometimes spelled resume in the US and sake which is more commonly spelled sake. In a few words, diacritics that did not exist in the original have been added for disambiguation, as in mate, from sp, and port. Mate, and male, from div a he. The acute and grave accents are occasionally used in poetry and lyrics, the acute to indicate stress overtly where it might be ambiguous, rebel versus rebel, or non-standard for metrical reasons, calendar. The grave to indicate that an ordinarily silent or elided syllable is pronounced, warned, parliament. In certain personal names such as Rene and Zohi, often two spellings exist, and the preference will be known only to those close to the person themselves. Even when the name of a person is spelled with a diacritic, like Charlotte Bronte, this may be dropped in less careful sources such as web pages. They also appear in some worldwide company names and slash or trademarks such as, for instance, Nestle or Citroën. Other languages. The following languages have letter diacritic combinations that are not considered independent letters. Afrikaans uses a diaresis to mark vowels that are pronounced separately and not as one would expect where they occur together, for example, voel, to feel, as opposed to voel, bird. 
The circumflex is used in E, I, O, and U generally to indicate long close mid as opposed to open mid vowels, for example in the words world, world, and more, morning, tomorrow. The acute accent is used to add emphasis in the same way as underlining or writing in bold or italics in English, for example that is J-O-U-B-O-E-K, it is your book. The grave accent is used to distinguish between words that are different only in placement of the stress, for example appell, apple, and appell, appeal, and in a few cases where it makes no difference to the pronunciation but distinguishes between homophones. The two most usual cases of the latter are the in the sayings of, of, either, or, and nog, nog, neither, nor, to distinguish them from of, or, and nog, again, still. Imara uses a diacritical horn over P, Q, T, K, C, H. Bengali uses different sorts of diacritics, called matra, of the elements instead of vowels called the shulrabo, rano, for instance, is the at at or K, A, R, of. Catalan has the following composite characters, a, c, e, e, i, i, o, o, u, u, l, l. The acute and the grave indicate stress and vowel height. The cedilla marks the result of a historical palatalization. The diaresis indicates either a hiatus or that the letter u is pronounced when the graphemes g, u, q, u are followed by e, r, i. The interpunct distinguishes the different values of l, l, slash, l, l. Czech has the acuta, e, i, o, u, y, the corone, and the overing, k, r, o, u, ek. Dutch uses the diaresis. For example in reuin it means that the u and the i are separately pronounced in their usual way, and not in the way that the combination u i is normally pronounced. Thus it works as a separation sign, and not as an indication for an alternative version of the i diacritics can be used for emphasis, or k-o-u-d for very cold, or for disambiguation between a number of words that are spelled the same when context doesn't indicate the correct meaning. E E N appell equals one apple, E E N appell equals an apple, vu or comen equals to occur, vu or comen equals to prevent. Grave and acute accents are used on a very small number of words, mostly loan words. The C also appears in some loan words. Faroese Non-Faroese accented letters are not added to the Faroese alphabet. These include E, O, U, A, uh, and recently also letters like and. Filipino has the following composite characters, A, 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 E, 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 I, 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 O, 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 U, U. U the actual use of diacritics for Filipino, however, is rare, and is meant only to distinguish between homonyms with different stresses and meanings that either occur near each other in a text, or to aid the reader in ascertaining its otherwise ambiguous meaning. Sometimes appears in Spanish loanwords and names, if Spanish orthography is observed. Finish. Carnton and appear only in foreign proper names and loan words, but may be substituted with sh or zh, if and only if it is technically impossible to produce accented letters in the medium. Contrary to Estonian, and are not considered distinct letters in Finnish. French uses the grave, accent grave, the acute, accent aigu, the circumflex, accent circumflex, the cedula, settle, and the diaresis, trema. Galician vowels can bear an acute a, e, i, o, u to indicate stress or difference between two otherwise same written words. E, he slash she is versus e, and but the diaresis trima is only used with i and u to show two separate vowel sounds in pronunciation. Only in foreign words may Galician use other diacritics such as e, common during the Middle Ages. E, or a. German uses the three umlauted characters a, o, and u. These diacritics indicate vowel changes. For instance, the word ofen ofen oven has the plural ofen fn. The mark originated as a superscript t. A handwritten black letter e resembles two parallel vertical lines, like a diaresis. Hebrew has many various diacritic marks known as nik that are used above and below script to represent vowels. These must be distinguished from cantillation, which are keys to pronunciation and syntax. 
the International Phonetic Alphabet uses diacritic symbols and characters to indicate phonetic features or secondary articulations. Irish uses the acute to indicate that a vowel is long, a, e, i, o. U is known as an fada long sign, or simply fada long in Irish. In the older Gaelic type, over dots are used to indicate lenition of a consonant. Italian mainly has the acute and the grave, a, e slash e, i, o slash o, u, typically to indicate a stress syllable that would not be stressed under the normal rules of pronunciation, but sometimes also to distinguish between words that are otherwise spelled the same way, e.g. e and is. Despite its rare use, Italian orthography allows the circumflex, I, to, in two cases, it can be found in old literary context, roughly out the 19th century, to signal a syncope, ferro fessero, they did, or in modern Italian, to signal the contraction of, I do to the plural ending, I, whereas the root ends with another, I, e.g., estimonio, p. Demona e demoni. In this case, the circumflex also signals that the word intended is not demoni, pluri love demon, by shifting the accent, demoni, devils demoni, demons. Lithuanian uses the acute, grave, and tilde dictionaries to indicate stress types in the language's pitch accent system. Maltese also uses the grave on its vowels to indicate stress at the end of a word with two syllables or more, lowercase letters, a. Uh, E, I, O, U vertical bar capital letters, A, E, I, O, U. Occitan has the following composite characters, A, A, C, E, E, I, I, O, O, U, U, and H, S, H. The acute and the grave indicate stress and vowel height. The cedilla marks the result of a historical palatalization. The diaresis indicates either a hiatus, or that the letter U is pronounced when the graphemes G U, Q U are followed by E or I. The interpunct distinguishes the different values of an H slash N, H, and SH slash S, H. Portuguese has the following composite characters, A, 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 C, E, E, I, O, O, O. U the acute, and the circumflex indicates stress and vowel height, the grave indicates crasis, the tilde represents nasalization, and the cedilla marks the result of a historical palatalization. Acutes are also used in Slavic language dictionaries and textbooks to indicate lexical stress, placed over the vowel of the stress syllable. This can also serve to disambiguate meaning. E.g., in Russian, pizza means to write but, pizza, means, to piss or the biggest part, versus the big part. Slovak has the acute, a, uh, e, i, o, u, y, the coron, d, the circumflex, only above o, o, and the diaresis, only above a. Spanish uses the acute and the diaresis. The acute is used on a vowel in a stress syllable in words with irregular stress patterns, it can also be used to break up a diphthong, as in tio, pronounced to, rather than tjo, as it would be without the accent. Moreover, the acute can be used to distinguish words that otherwise are spelled alike, such as she, if and she, yes, and also to distinguish interrogative and exclamatory pronouns from homophones with a different grammatical function, such as don slash donned, where slash where, or como slash como, as slash how. The diaresis is used only over u, u, for it to be pronounced w in the combinations gu and gui, where u is normally silent, for example ambiguidad. In poetry, the diaresis may be used on i and u, as a way to force a hiatus. Swedish uses the acute to shown on standard stress, for example in kafe, cafe, and resume, resume. This occasionally helps resolve ambiguities, such as id, hibernation, versus id, idea. In these words, the acute is not optional. Some proper names use non-standard diacritics, such as Carolina Cluft and Stale von Holstein. For foreign loan words the original accents are strongly recommended, unless the word has been infused into the language, in which case they are optional. Hence creme frage but hampir. Swedish also has the letters a, a, and o, but these are considered distinct letters, not a and o with diacritics.
Tamil does not have any diacritics in itself, but uses the Hindu numerals 2, 3, and 4 as diacritics to represent aspirated, voiced, and voiced aspirated consonants when the Tamil script is used to write long passages in Sanskrit. Thai has its own system of diacritics derived from Indian numerals which denote different tones. Vietnamese uses the acute, D-U-S-C, the grave, D-U-H-U-Y-N, the tilde, D-U-N-G-A, the underdot, D-U-N-N-G, and the H-O-I, D-U-H-I, on vowels as tone indicators. Welsh uses the circumflex, diaresis, acute, and grave, on its seven vowels a, e, i, o, u, w, y. The most common is the circumflex, which it calls to batch, meaning little roof, or a syngram crooked accent or her nod long sign, to denote a long vowel, usually to disambiguate it from a similar word with a short vowel. The rarer grave accent has the opposite effect, shortening vowel sounds that would usually be pronounced long. The acute accent and diaresis are also occasionally used to denote stress and vowel separation respectively. The W circumflex and the Y circumflex are among the most commonly accented characters in Welsh, but unusual in languages generally, and were until recently very hard to obtain in word processed and HTML documents. Transliteration Several languages that are not written with the Roman alphabet are transliterated or romanized using diacritics. Examples Arabic has several romanizations depending on the type of the application, region, intended audience, country, etc. Many of them extensively use diacritics, e.g., some methods use an underdot for rendering emphatic consonants. The macron is often used to render long vowels is often used for slash slash. For slash slash. Chinese has several romanizations that use the umlaut, but only on you, you, in Hana Yu Pinian, the four tones of Mandarin Chinese are denoted by the macron, first tone, acute, second tone, barone, third tone, and grave, fourth tone, diacritics. Example, a, uh, a. Romanized Japanese, Romaji, occasionally uses macrons to mark long vowels. The Hepburn Romanization system uses macrons to mark long vowels, and the Kunrai Shiki and Nihon Shiki systems use a circumflex. Sanskrit, as well as many of its descendants, like Hindi and Bengali, uses a lossless romanization system. This includes several letters with diacritical markings, such as the macron, over, and under dots, as well as a few others, and 